food gardens, which is what I believe we should be trying to implement, market gardens and community gardens. The community garden and the market garden model are very different but both serve valuable functions. The community garden is a, is a social enterprise with environmental benefits of converting waste into food. It, they run on volunteer labour and um, work for the dole and have lots of school visits, that sort of thing. On the other hand, the market garden is a totally commercial enterprise. The techniques of growing are, are very different. They're, they're quite similar to what happens in most houses in Perth, in most house gardens, and quite similar to the idea of hydroponics because in hydroponics you're using water soluble fertilizer in a closed system to provide nutrients endlessly to the plant and um, anything the plant doesn't take up of course just filters through the sand just like compost will in these sandy coastal plain soils and ends up in the aquifer underneath and probably eventually in the river or the ocean or, or somewhere else where we don't want it, where it can cause things like algal blooms. But the market gardens, of course, are serving a very useful purpose because they put part of the food on our table. And in terms of food miles, how far your food travels to get to your table, um, they're the best we've got. Most suburbs, besides what people are growing for themselves in their home gardens, most suburbs food is a hundred percent from our outside of that suburb there's no food grown here in south perth Netherlands. i think there's no food grown there i haven't seen a commercial garden in pentland grove and and it'd be great to see one the um combining the two systems together so we use sustainable techniques such as those used in in community gardens and like the ones that I'm developing here enable us to intensively produce food and do it on a commercial or semi-commercial basis and um, for that reason I think it's it's not inaccurate to call it's not accurate to call what we're proposing here a community garden because it, it's it's not purely a community garden but it wouldn't be right to call it a market garden and I think calling a food garden says what we're doing what we're trying to do convert waste into food and differentiates itself from the other models both of which have advan great advantages in our society so the way that we're containing in the two techniques I've, I've developed here you can see underneath the um, lawn clippings, which is the only thing that these potatoes are growing in, and we've already been eating them around the barbecue and cooking them on the stove. This barrier here is made of waste, and it can be anything. You know, this is a um, bit of junk mail, plastic bags, um, wood chips, anything that slows down or nearly totally prevents the downward movement of nutrients and water makes it more efficient, more environmentally efficient and more economically efficient. The other system that I'm using is the raised worm farm garden beds which collect a solid and liquid fertiliser and they can be finished off to look very visually appealing. If you imagine this is a brick wall here on this face and um, it could be done with mosaics by Gaudi or an, an Aboriginal artist or it could depict the coat of arms of the city of per South Perth or it could have a gardening scene on it or it could have the street number on it so everyone can see whereabouts 188 is. So they're the two basic techniques and you can see here with minimal work, with minimal volunteer labour and plenty of other things to do in life um, this bed has pretty well looked after itself we made it put the potatoes down 
and it rained and they started growing and now we're eating beautiful potatoes from it and we've even got a couple of tomato plants as well. Food production, food gardens.